It's the time of year. There's a Chinook right there. When salmon come to spawn. It's a beautiful fish. Rivers and streams filling with the fish that just made an incredible journey. It looks like there's another male and a female. Seattle Aquarium Charlotte Spang says every October, two to three year old salmon return to the rivers where they were born to lay eggs. Salmon recovery manager Jason Mulvihill Coon says the Cedar River is where it all happens. They want to be in this section of the river. But they say this year is slow. I'm seeing less fish in the river this year than I expected to. Salmon need cool water and a lot of it for this process. Two factors that are lacking after the hottest and driest summer on record. But it's not good for salmon not to have rain. The salmon all pass through the Ballard Locks before entering streams and rivers. And while the Ballard Locks are seeing more fish than expected, they're not continuing onto the rivers, likely because of the warm and dry conditions. But not as many as we would have hoped have shown up in the rivers yet. So it's likely that they're waiting for those rains to come and create the flows and the temperatures that they need. So they're monitoring the fish, hoping for rain quickly because the salmon can only wait in the lake for so long before losing energy and dying without ever actually spawning. But because of the years long cycle these fish go through, if this year doesn't pan out, not only will we not know for years, but there is still hope for recovery down the line. When we have one bad year, it's not that big a deal. If we have two, three, four, five bad years and all in a row, that's when it's going to be a really bigger problem because that's going to take away that um, kind of adaptability that they've built into their their genes and their biology. So now they're watching. Oh, there's a salmon right off the edge of the rock. And making plans to help the salmon as much as possible in the meantime. Seeing these fish really helps us reconnect to a sense of place. And to see one of these gigantic salmon uh, is pretty amazing. And, and really is part of what it means to be a Pacific Northwesterner, is to have salmon in our local streams and rivers. And if we lose that, we'll have lost something of ourselves, honestly.